Channel 6 News. I'm Jeannie Lurchin along with Paul Hennigy with a look at what's happening in and around the Tri-Community area. In preparation for the upcoming school board election, Channel 6 and the AAUW hosted a live call-in program last Monday night. The two candidates running for the seat, soon to be vacated by board president Dale Chesney, are Dean Maui and Anita Bonick. The candidates fielded questions posed by the moderator as well as phone calls and a studio audience. You can see this program in its entirety here on Channel 6 next week. In the past year, the Village DDA has become quite a moving force with its involvement in area projects and festivals. And here's coordinator Janine Saputo with all the latest updates. Thanks, Jeannie. The Romeo DDA board has several activities going on in the downtown area that you might have noticed right in the central business district. First of all, our fall decorations are up. You may have noticed we have about 160 corn stalks wrapped around those light poles up and down Main Street and St. Clair and elsewhere. We had help from the serve students from Romeo High School this year to install everything and they certainly enjoyed working with me to tie up the wreaths, the corn stalks and the coordinating bows. We hope you like the colors and how they coordinate with the beautiful fall atmosphere we have downtown. The decorations will be up right through the holidays until the first week in November. And then our second activity, which I'm sure you're anticipating also with a change in weather, is our 2009 holiday decorations. If you remember last year, we had some beautiful custom snowflakes made of LED lights installed in our downtown area, up and down Main Street, and again along St. Clair. We had beautiful trees decorated in red LED lights inside Village Park and in several locations up and down Main Street. Look forward to this. The installation starts about November 5th and 6th, and it'll be here in time for our holiday events that are coming up in November and December. We hope you enjoy this beautiful walk through the downtown when all those beautiful lights are on. The LED lights are special here and it really adds to our atmosphere when the snow falls. I hate to use that word, but here we are looking at snow. The third thing you might have noticed is the DDA has been active in working with some of the downtown merchants to install a new dumpster corral behind three of the restaurants in the area of the large parking lot at Rawls in Washington. The dumpster corral is completed, as you can see, and it really adds to the improvements in this area. It has three dumpsters inside that service the businesses along Main Street right there, and it's definitely an improvement. We hope you look forward to strolling downtown for fall and winter and have a look at our decorations and our improvements. The congregation at Romeo United Methodist Church is celebrating its 185th anniversary. Pastor Reverend Gary Glanville is very excited about the upcoming celebration, which will continue throughout the year. We're celebrating our 185th anniversary here at the Romeo United Methodist Church. It's, it's really an amazing story when you think about it. Going back to 1824, uh, you have a circuit rider, a pastor on a horse, enters this community called Indian Village or Hoxie. It wasn't even called Romeo back then and uh, ends up going to someone's home called Albert Finch, starts a church with six people, and now today we probably have affiliated with the church in some capacity, whether they're a full member or a constituent member, you know, over 500 people. And so it's an, been an exciting journey of, of just watching things happen. Of, and I'm sure we're going to get a chance to talk about some of that history as well as we'll do a walking tour. And uh, we're going to walk around the church a little bit and see some of the things that have happened in times past. We'll look at some of the original pews in this building. Uh, and to think, too, that if, you were to, if we were to walk outside just a little bit to see where there's now the Romeo Arts and Archives building, which before that was the Romeo State Police Post, which before that was actually a church. A church, that, a wooden church that was built back in 1840, the very first building. And the building that we have now, the brick structure, was in 1872. A church that uh, at one time was the district seat. This was the Romeo District. It's now the Port Huron District. Uh, but also was a church where we held what was called annual conference for all of Methodism here in the state of Michigan. And the bishops would come here and, and reside over the, the annual events that took place. And so Romeo has been a very pivotal uh, church in this community. National City Bank in Washington Township, along with the Chamber of Commerce, also had something to celebrate last week. They held a ribbon cutting to kick off the grand reopening. 
fire prevention, kid safety programs, and bike safety programs with the Macomb County Sheriff were all part of the celebration. The Desert Angel Organization is at it again. They're holding another packing party on November 5th to again send miracle boxes to the troops. Click www.thedesertangel.org for a list of items needed for the boxes or to donate. They expect to ship the boxes out in time for Thanksgiving. They're also looking for volunteers, so if you want to help our troops, call Parks and Rec at 752-9601. And believe it or not, it's that time of year again when the Goodfellows are gearing up for their annual holiday paper sale. Paul Grake from Washington Township tells us how this worthwhile project helps our area kids have a brighter Christmas. Hello, my name is Paul Grake and I'm from the Washington Goodfellows and alongside of me is Mike Vegas of the Washington Lions Club, which we represent the Washington Goodfellows. On Friday and Saturday, December the 4th, December the 5th, we will be selling the newspapers for, to raise money for needy families in our township. If you see us wearing the yellow vest those two days, please make a donation. We need all the help we can get. And also, we need help from people in the community. If they'd like to come out and help sell newspapers, we would love to have your help. And also, we'd like to have all of our township employees and township officials to be recognized a little bit. So please come out and give us a hand. And also, we'd like to thank the Romeo Observer for doing the newspapers for us. And again, please, Give us a hand, give us some money. We could use your help. Thank you. And now, here's Paul with Bulldog Sports. Hey, Jeannie, before we go to sports, this is Chopper Mike giving you the best fall sale here in the good old Romeo area. The 2009 Tilson Street Halloween shirts are now available um, at 171 Tilson Street. All proceeds for this shirt go to the Busley Memorial Scholarship Fund, and uh, which assists in pay to participate scholarships and help out with the Skills USA competition. Uh, please come by. We wish you all a safe and happy Halloween. Thanks, Jeannie. The varsity football team coming off last week's 10-3 victory over Ike were in high spirits as the mighty titans of Stevenson came into Dan Barnable Field looking to continue their unbeaten season. Quarterback Jason Fricasa of Stevenson came in as the best passing quarterback in Michigan high school history as he worked his aerial magic on the dogs. He threw for 400 yards including three touchdowns. He also ran for one. Jason also set a Michigan high school record with 80 touchdowns in his four year career. The dogs unfortunately lost 42 to seven. On the bright side though, the defense had two interceptions. So Stevenson wins the Red Division of the MAC and the Bulldogs will travel to Utica for its final game of the season as they battle it out for the little brown jug. In varsity soccer, the 13-2-3 Bulldogs took on the 7-10 Anchor Bay Tars in a district game hosted by Romeo. Here's Richard with the details. Well thanks a lot Paul. Yes, the varsity Bulldog soccer season has been one of the best in recent history. And Romeo's quest for the Division I District Championship started right here at Memorial Field on Monday as the Dogs took on the Tars of Anchor Bay. At the end of regulation, the score was knotted up at 0-0. Zero zero. Then senior Saul Orozco headed in a beautiful throw-in from Evan Simpson. The staying room crowd only excitedly cheered on as the Bulldogs won, and they are now 14-3-2 on the season and they will travel to Swinehart Field to take on Dakota on Wednesday, and we will report on that game next week. Go dogs! Does anybody out there need a new mattress? The Romeo soccer team is sponsoring their first mattress fundraiser on November 7th in the Romeo High School cafeteria from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. All mattresses are 40 to 60% off retail price, and profits go directly to the Boys and Girls Soccer Program. 